no, 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 no. This was all wrong. How did it get so wrong? All you had to do was swing your stupid hammer. But what do you do? You drive the anvil through the stage. You break everything. Everything, dear. Everything. Oh, bloody hell. What? I don't get the problem. Oh, you don't get the problem. <laughs> the problem is, you're two inches tall. You're not even going to reach the anvil tonight. <laughs> this is turning into Spinal Tap. Okay, today we're looking at Cyberverse, Commander Class Ultra Magnus. Um, like I said in the Voyager video review, I like this figure a lot better. Um, as you can see, very similar paint scheme, paint layout. Um, the blue is a little darker, and I really like that. I like the shade of, um, you know, like a cobalt blue, and you have the red highlights on the arms on the chest a little bit of silver on the legs um the one thing that's missing is the red highlight on the roof but hey that's okay um he does have his little hammer weapon now some people have complained that um there's an issue with stressing the hand i've never had a problem putting this in, in or out of his hand and i haven't noticed any stress marks yet um it is poseable that it can you lay it out flat and use it as a laser rifle and peg it in the side here or things of that nature it's really more for you know vehicle mode but yeah like i said it's a great little accessory um articulation now this is where actually things get a little iffy um he was a wave mate with ironhide commander class ironhide and I'll, they actually have a lot of the same problems they use a lot of ball joints, and it's ball joints that have to do a lot of movement. Um, as you can see, it's for the up and down and out to the side arm movement. A lot of that's the transformation joint. And it's not just ball joints, but it's clear ball joints. Because you have this whole clear chest piece that goes around the back here into that peg. You know, that's for working with the cyberverse vehicles and that's where you know problems might start right now this figure is on the cusp of looseness like ironhide he can hold the pose but if the joints are just a touch looser then he's a floppy mess um i don't know if that'll deteriorate over time I mean, for all we know, this clear plastic could start cracking, like we've seen with Energon. But I've shown you the arms. There are ball joints at the elbows for the full range of motion. The head is a fixed piece, unfortunately, but that's like most uh, Cyberverse uh, figures. Ball jointed hips allows them to go out to the side and forward and back, even though this is about as far as the leg can go out to the side. And a single jointed knee that gives you about that range of movement. He does have a waist joint, but that's really more for transformation. And it kind of looks a little weird when you start twisting it around. Um, let's take a look at the transformation. Ultra Magnus's transformation reminds me a lot like smoke screens. In that, up until the final few steps... You have pretty much a floppy mess. Now, there's a lot of tabs on Ultra Magnus that have to be put in a certain way or you risk breaking them. 
I'll point those out as we go along. First start, just fold down the head and then bring the shoulders up, or I should say the shoulder pads up. Next what you want to do is just come along and collapse the arms in on the chest forming the front of the car. What I would then recommend doing now is bending the arms down at the elbow as you rotate the waist around. You can then go ahead and peg the legs together. A little peg right there goes in on that, you know, hidden third wheel. Straighten the feet out while you're doing it. You're going to have to really give it a little push. And then comes the fun part. You want to basically just bring the arms up like so and just nestle them in. Well, this went a lot easier than I remember. Hmm. If I'm doing something wrong. But, yep. Just give it a good squeeze. Plug everything together. And here's his truck mode. Yeah, that actually was a lot easier. I didn't do anything wrong. So, oh. Just want to on the bottom here, peg the arms together. I almost forgot that step, but I'm sure you wouldn't at home. So yeah, so yeah, everything's good. Let's take a look at vehicle mode. Well, here's Ultra Magnus in his uh, truck mode. You can see the red highlights now are around the front of the cab. He rolls very nicely on his uh, wheels. Um, you have various pegs and holes to plug uh, Cyberverse weapons in. Here's his primary weapon, and again, you have many options. You can peg it on the side here. You can combine it with other weapons, what have you. Um, the instructions basically show that it goes on this special peg right here, just like so. And, um, yeah, it's like a little bit of a tow truck, mobile cannon. You can swing it around so it's facing forward and, you know, he has a giant laser. Um, we do know he will be in Beast Hunters. We're not 100% sure um, what he will look like. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like he's going to take on more of the uh, Beast Hunters version of the figure that will be coming later on, which is a heavy retool of the Prime Robots in the Skies Voyager Optimus Prime. But this is a really cool, fun figure. Ultra Magnus is a fantastic figure, and really, I think, one of the best from the Cyberverse line. Um, just as you can see here, you can get him in a two handed pose holding the hammer, although you do basically dislocate his shoulders. Um, like I said, I recommend this figure, this version of the, fi the uh, character, over the Voyager. It is much nicer. The hammer works a lot better. He can actually hold it, at least on my version. Just be careful for the loose joints. Um, unfortunately, a lot of other people have clued into it, and this guy does command a little bit of a premium on the secondary market. I was lucky and able to find him in Target on shelves. I think it was the only one I ever saw in a store. Um, I would not pay more than um, the going rate for um, Cyberverse Commander figures. Y you know, I mean, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, that's a bit much. I mean, 15 is good enough for this figure. And who knows, maybe we'll see him repainted somewhere down the line. Joel Palchuk. For Ultra Magnus, we'll see you next time.